Hello there, friends. I hope all of you are having a spectacular day. You know, we get up every morning and we open our eyes and if we can see, if we can move, if we can see the sunlight filtering through our curtains, that is such a positive and uplifting way to start the day. The very first thing that I do when I become cognizant of waking up is say thank you. Um, I think that do you know this this has been a month of gratitude and it's really important to carry that appreciation and gratefulness on into uh, the end of the decade, which is coming up <laughs> uh, for the rest of the year. A decade, you know, a lot of people are posting their um, 10 years ago, I looked like this and now this is what I look like now. Ah, I'm not sure I want to do that. Um mainly because I entered that change of life thing and oh dear me that just brings all kinds of challenges with it but hey I made it I made it this far and a lot of folks didn't so there we go <laughs> I have finished my world book encyclopedia G edition and I wanted to flip through this I'm very, very, very happy with this book. It was a lot of fun to create. It's been a lot of fun to work in. We did overcome our um, thin pages kind of thing by uh, doing a couple different techniques that I'll talk about when we are flipping through. So it's time to put together another glue book. I still really like the three ring binder kind of thing, but not sure of what I'm going to do for the next one, which is, it's fun to get to the end of something and then go, oh, what am I going to do next? Isn't that, that's just fun. I, I like the idea of, you know, finishing a project and then progressing to something new. Of course, we start out with a little bit of Alice in Wonderland. Um, this page just sort of fell together have no idea how it happened, which to me is the best way to create art. You don't know exactly how it happened, right? Because that means that you were aligned with spirit and spirit was doing the thing on the page, not you. I always say we created <laughs> because I really don't feel like it's a solo effort. When you create art, you're always inspired by other people or um, by, you know, the universe or the big guy or whatever you want to call it. That, you know, that sort of interaction certainly does filter through your mind, your heart, your soul, and then that's what goes on the page. I really did love using these, um, and these are, it's a 1988 book called Success with Houseplants. It, it was, it's cards, you know, not paper. So working with those elements from that book were a lot of fun. This is uh, exciting cacti and succulents. It's a little flip piece right here. Miss Leanne did this beautiful mermaid tail on this. So it's a little note from her. A little flip out right here. A lot of you have asked about Jimmy Kilgo. <laughs> Jimmy Kilgo was uh, a radio DJ and he spun, you know, the hippest, hottest music. So to me, he was an icon. He was someone to look up to in Charlotte, North Carolina. I also noted these, these, um, TV shows and radio shows that I listen to. So I listen to Kilgo's Corner, uh, watch Star Trek, The Monkees, Gilgan's Island, and Beverly Hillbillies. And that was probably around 1964. One of my very favorite restaurants in New York is called The Rag Trader. And I went there with my little boy last year. He's not little. He's 33 I became kind of fascinated with food labeling, which I'm still fascinated with. I would rip off every single can label that I could. Um, but, you know, those labels are really sticky, y'all. They're kind of hard to get off. <laughs> Prosecco. In Italy, one of my favorite combinations there. This is a little fold-out piece right here. 
This is an example of one of the pages that was super thin that I should have reinforced, you know, should have put reinforcers on, or as a lot of you suggested, glue several of these pages together is probably what I should have done, but I didn't do that. But if I use that thin kind of paper next time, I am going to do that. Pineapple juice, love pineapple juice. This is a Leanne sticker, and this is one of my printables from my shop. It says, eat tacos like every day is Tuesday. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. This is from my birthday trip to Hobby Lobby. Chris took me to Hobby Lobby, which was fun, fun, fun. An original piece from one of my private art journals. It says, let go or be dragged. thought this picture of cupping was very interesting. It's a ragtail cactus. Seals in Antarctica. This whole book was based around an encyclopedia. And having the encyclopedia as a base for the book, it prompted the book. It guided the book. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I took some of this as a prompt. To me, this guy with the anti-ballistic missile launcher reminded me of war reporters. You know, where is there conflict around the world? Difficult roads often lead to beautiful de destinations. You know, that kind of thing. So I was very guided by what was already on the page. I love Jesus, but I cuss a lot. I love this postcard. This is an ice plant. Um, this is a section about Jane Austen. Really cool. A lot of your emotional suffering is created by your models of how you think the universe should be and your inability to allow it to be as it is. That is Ram Dass. This is a piece that I did with cracked eggshells. Just a layered collage. I also put a lot of Colleen Moore's um, dollhouse book in here. Because I just thought the images were so beautiful. I didn't want to put anything on these pages because this is Michelangelo, the Sistine Chapel. I saw this. I did not see this. This is the Chartreuse Cathedral. I didn't see that. You can see that I just added little borders on some of these pages. I didn't do a lot with them. Um, Antioch. Anything that I found that I wanted to keep as a reading piece or as an information piece, I always highlight, highlight it in yellow. This keeps coming off. I'll have to go back and fix this. I love the little kitty cat. I made this out of junk mail. This is a page from Colleen Moore's dollhouse book. This is a corn cob plant. I should have done more with these. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. This is from October the 6th. I think I was thinking Halloween. This is a starfish flower. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe that's why I just couldn't do anything with them. I did things on the back. 
This is an awesome piece by Miss Leanne. It says, I know the voices aren't real, but man, do they come up with great ideas. The cover of the March, I think this was March 3rd, featured Leonardo da Vinci. This was a piece of sheet music. These um, pieces are from the violin case, the fiddle case, that was owned by my friend Price Featherston, who taught me a lot about playing guitar. I know that I did not want to decoupage or collage or glue over these images of homes because I really love them so much. This is a panda plant. It kind of reminds me of a fuzzy jade plant. This is some salvage script that I found. It was super neat. I think you guys probably saw me putting these pages together. Food packaging. What did I highlight here? Art collectors and patrons. This was um, a little bit in the original encyclopedia. It says, during the 16th century, Francis I of France, Maximilian I, the Holy Roman Emperor from 1493 to 1519, and Henry VIII of England supported the careers of many Northern European painters. I love the idea of royalty, anyone, you know, supporting, supporting artists the way you guys do. This was just a piece that I had put together, a curated collage collection to go in a flow journal, and it was too big, so I just put it on one page in here, and that worked out really nicely. I thought the mermaid and the blue castle really looked cool together. Miss Vicky sent us some dance cards. Miss D from Down Under sent us some smashing imagery. Uh oh. I think you saw me put this one together. Apocalyptic Literature and Apocrypha. Beautiful little painting by Miss W, who we are thinking about you, Miss W. And then I have these two. I just love the images on these. I did have some things left in here. So I'm just going to lift that out, and I will put this in my next glue book. I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through my glue book. I really enjoyed this. Don't know what style I'm going to do next. I don't know if it'll be this big, but glue booking is a release. It is a stress reliever. It's a great way to start your day, end your day glue book over lunch, <laughs> whatever. It's just such a refreshing and fun thing to do. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.